What's going on, guys? So today's Wednesday, and guess where we at? We are. <laughs> where we at? Oh, you want to know where I'm at? <laughs> we outside. On the grass, finally back on the grass. So what's going? What's been going on with me? What's been going on with me? Monday, I had a one-to-one, -one, much better one-to-one. -one, picking up the pace now, going faster, changing direction, all of that stuff. Yesterday, I had to do some running on the pitch whilst I was watching the lads play. So yesterday I done a four minute run, so just a warm up, four minute run warm up. Then I done three sets of six pitch uh, full length runs. So I done that and no pain at all. Today is actually meant to be a rest day, but I got bored. So I'm out here just doing a light little technical session, which you'll see in a minute. So yeah, just been doing that. And I thought I'm back outside, might as well get some content for you guys. So here goes the training session. So as you would have seen there, slight little technical session, just getting touches on the ball, getting a feel for it, every part of the foot, getting a feel for it, just getting back into it. It's a bit slow, but as the weeks go on, obviously, I'll start getting sharper and all of that, but as for now, I've got to take it slow. But it's been a lot of progression. I haven't felt any more pain in my hamstring, to be fair. I've just been doing little runs, not too fast. I can change direction sharply. So I think hopefully tomorrow I'm going to pick up the pace a bit, hope I can get back into sprinting. So hopefully, hopefully it's one week left out and I can get back to playing. But as for now, I'm just going to be coming out to the park, doing some training sessions. And as you can, as you'll see in the videos, each session I just get faster and faster and sharper and sharper. I'm just going to keep doing that. And as for you that keep watching these videos and not subscribing, it's not on. I'm talking to you. Yeah, you. I know you see me. I'm talking to you. So please, please, please keep subscribing, keep watching guys, and I'll be back in the next video. I nearly forgot 
I got, uh, I got you lot to ask me questions and one of the questions was from David. He said, what keeps me going? I'd say what keeps me going is knowing where I want to be in life. I generally just love playing football and so many good things have come out of me actually playing football. A lot of bad things too, don't get me wrong. But I have a goal and I know where I want to get to. So yeah, I think that's what keeps me going. Family, friends, people I'm around, keep me going, keep me grounded. And I, know, I think I just... It's what I want to be a professional footballer, so just train every day and get better every day, and then eventually it's going to happen. That's what I think. So yeah, I think that's what keeps me going, David. So I was actually going to end the video earlier when I was when I was at the pitch. However, I wanted to actually show you what I'm actually going to do for the rest of the day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat this spag bowl. Eat this spag bowl now. Then I'll chill for an hour relax, probably watch some YouTube videos. And then I'm gonna do upper body and I'm gonna do core, so I'll show you guys what I'm doing in that. And then, yeah, so I'll just be doing upper body, core, and I'll be doing some stretching, probably do yoga, so I'll probably show you guys that as well. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. So this morning I started off actually, I done my pre-activation stuff because I'm injured so I have to actually take that into consideration and do it properly now, take it more serious. So I done all of that, foam rolling, stretching, and then I went to the pitch, I done a long warm up, so I done a four minute run, just slow one, get the legs going, you see I done some stretching, and yeah, so tomorrow I've actually got training, so hopefully I can get involved in training with the lads. See how that goes, see how my leg reacts to that. And then hopefully by next week I'm ready to go back to football again. I'm ready to play again. What I was actually going to sit down and talk to you about was actually being injured and how... Sorry, watching Connor. Congratulations to Connor, just signed a deal at Wickham. So yeah, congratulations to you bro. Um, what I was actually going to talk to you was actually being injured and how tough it's actually been this time. It's actually been my longest injury, so I've been out for like nearly six, seven weeks. And the first two weeks were alright, because I've done my hamstring before, I was only out for two, three weeks last time, I was fine. Done it once or twice last season, and all, but other than that, I was only out for two, three weeks, and now this time, seven weeks, so it's actually been tough mentally. Getting up every day, doing core, doing upper body, doing legs doing skipping because I couldn't actually go for a run so it's actually been really mentally tough but just surrounding myself with the right people going to physio listening to what he has to say and actually just looking after my body for, for once and actually taking it serious but now that I'm coming to an end of it you can actually appreciate what you actually get to do when you're actually injured so I've actually worked on my upper body I've done more core I feel stronger I'm actually sweating what the fuck um, yeah anyway yeah so now that that's over, I can actually hopefully be back next week, ready to play, help the team. Because we lost last night, we lost 2-1 last night at home. Didn't play the best, so I'm sure the gaff is looking for a reaction tomorrow in training. And then going into the game on Saturday. But yeah, that's me done for the day. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, like, and all that good shit. And I'll catch you in a bit.